John Paul Harris, I hold a warrant for your arrest. That you did on the night of Saturday, the 9th of January, caused the death of Ruth Harris. And it is my duty to warn you that anything you say will be taken down immediately. was the most honest of men. Now, suddenly, he's a criminal, hated by his neighbors. Oh, I've arranged with Superintendent Finlay to give your husband 48 hours protection. Protection? I won't mislead you, Mrs. Harris. He's going to need it for a bit. You can't stay here, Pat. I'll telephone your father. I'm from the Gazette. Get out. I'm just doing my job. You've got no right to come in here. Give me that. It's nothing sacred to you. You let her die, didn't you? <laughs> He loved his wife. Now his marriage is in ruins. I want to see Dr. Brown at once. What name, please, madam? Harris. Hurry. Please hurry. This young doctor is roused to such fanatic fury that he's prepared to sacrifice his whole career to destroy John Harris. Why do you hate John? I don't hate him. I hate what he did. I believe in living, not dying. But who's going to live because you put John in prison? One hanging doesn't stop the next murder. I said it now, haven't you? He killed Ruth, and you know it. You will be judge and jury in the case of John Paul Harris. You will hear all the evidence, but will you be able to condemn him? No single man should be allowed to face the responsibility of the decision that Harris faced. A man can only carry so much. Harris is already overboard. He's only got one chance. It was murder. He killed her. You will not be able to just watch this film. You will hate. You will pity. For the crime of John Paul Harris hits hard and deep at your passionate emotions.